Hello and welcome to Faith and Friends. You guys see that? A new open. That new was awesome. pictures wow. in there. That's, that's there you job, were on Cedar Point Road. Something. <laughs> <laughs> so long ago. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the middle of June is here. As you know, I love all those nationwide observances. And guess what's <laughs> going on this week? Superman days are taking place this week. Worldwide Knit and Crochet in Public <laughs> Week. How many of you guys are going to participate in Worldwide Knit and Crochet? Is that legal? But so. this week is when you're allowed to do it in public. It's encouraged it's legal? to do it in public. It's legal to do it in public this, this week? Sometimes you have to make a stand. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of something for everyone with those interesting holidays. <laughs> this week in June. Lots of interesting diversity. I do not show make today. them up. I do not make them up. I'm not I get them you online the air quote. and everything oh, online. Is so the internet. <laughs> Enough said. We got lots of interesting diversity on our show today as well as we are going to take you to Delphus for the dedication of Trinity United Methodist Church's Family Life Center, a project that's been 10 years in the making. In 2013, more than 75,000 deaths nationwide were attributed to diabetes and diabetes diagnosis are on the rise. But what can be done for prevention? Well, Dr. Trudy Pieper joins us today with some suggestions for just that. And it's another food, food segment day here on TV44 with the main focus, healthy snacks on the go. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> healthy There's something snacks. interesting prepared for you. It's, it's yellow, it's... A banana. It's the opposite of ketchup. Does ketchup have an opposite, Mark? It does now. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It's more of a compliment to ketchup, but... <laughs> a ketchup compliment then. And it's let, not relish. I'll leave it at that. But, <laughs> but you might relish it. But first, <laughs> some food for the soul. John 4, 33 through 35. But Jesus said to his disciples, I have food to eat that you know nothing about. And his disciples said to each other, could someone have brought him food? Oh, those disciples, they're so, so wise. My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. Don't you have a saying? It's still four months until harvest. I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for the harvest. So many times we're trying to fill our bellies with the harvest, mm -hmm. whether it's a recent restaurant opening or <laughs> the food that we're hungry for, or the strawberries that we just grew up back. But there's such a deeper filling of our soul when we thirst and hunger for God's truth, for his righteousness, for his words. Mm -hmm. Well, with a desire to reach the harvest in the city of Delphus and beyond, mm -hmm. the members of Trinity United Methodist Church were understandably overjoyed at the recent dedication of their new Family Life Center. Jennifer gives us a tour of this new facility that came to fruition after 10 years of planning. It's likely you can see the building if you're driving nearby on US 30. The Trinity United Methodist Church Family Life Center, a brand new building dedicated earlier this month at its new home on the northeastern edge of Delphus. Trinity has a long-standing solidarity in the city of Delphus, a church with a servant heart mentality, continually seeking new ways to build God's vision. And in fact, that's the slogan that has kept this project in focus from the start, building God's vision to serve. Started uh, back in 2004 when we were kind of uh, wanting to understand a little bit better as to what the church needed to be uh, just to serve our congregation seven days a week. So uh, throughout the planning process and what the congregation shared, we quickly realized that we needed something that would cater more to families and uh, uh, provide a space for people, the entire congregation, to come together all under one roof at the same time. For North and so many others standing in this building, seeing the vision become reality is beyond exciting. The church launched a capital campaign in 2009, purchased the land in 2010, and the capital campaign ran from 2010 to 2014. Um, we were able to raise enough money to put up this part of the building. However, it wasn't enough to do the whole um, church. So that's when we decided to uh, break it up into uh, two phases. Phase one, which we're standing in right now. Phase two includes offices, Sunday school classrooms, and a new sanctuary. What's the timetable for that one? Right now, it's completely in God's timing. Trinity United Methodist Church instead plans to dedicate this facility to God and see it used to its capacity of His purposes now. June 7th was the official building dedication service. Continue to inspire within this congregation, the other churches in Duffus as well, and all of those who call upon you to reach out with loving hands and willing hearts. 
So far, it is apparent that God plans to use this building to build relationships. The Tender Times Daycare is housed here, an opportunity for some of the area's youngest residents to spend part of their formative years in this type of environment. The Family Life Center can be used for basketball, volleyball, pickleball, and other athletic-related events, or equally valuable as a dinner space, weddings, special music, special events for area teens, and look at the size of this kitchen. You know, God's heart is just drawing people to himself and helping uh, people live into his plan and his vision for them. So if we can use this facility as a resource with times of uh, fellowship like we're having now or um, with other programs in the future, sports camps, uh, spiritual retreat weekends, those kinds of things, marriage encounter weekends, that all of those things would draw people to God. God God's the one who does the healing work, and as the church, it's, it's just our job as ones who've been touched by God to, uh, to draw people into what we know. Well, the TV44 auction is just three months away. Donations are trickling in, and we are ready for them to pour in. So bring us your items. <laughs> We love antique furniture, brand new in-the-box items, popular collectibles, of course, larger items like lawnmowers, motorcycles that people like Zach love to try out, even <laughs> automobiles. We have two cars so far, Mark. Did you know that? We have two automobiles that have been donated. Yeah, so call us if you'd like to find out more about donating an automobile or anything else. But we're going to take a moment and play a game with some of the items that have already come in. Now, one of these three guys knows the first one. It's it, not me. Don't guess it. If One you of these two know. guys. Okay. I don't know. If Here I'm we nice. go. Here's your hints. Colors involved are scarlet, gray, Ooh. maroon, and gold. Oh. It's taking maroon place in November. Oh. It will be auctioned off during the trips auction or the sports auction. What is the item? Bonus oh. hint. It was Dilly bar. It was me who knew the answer Dilly to this. Dilly bar. Do you know the answer to this? I do know the answer to this. Do you know the answer? I know the yeah, answer I know. to this. So it's Andy. It's, it's, a, it's a football game, I'm guessing. The Buckeyes in Minnesota. Hey! You got it! Yes. Ding, 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 ding. I didn't even know I knew that. November 7th. <laughs> so thankful to the Westricks for their donation of this trip. There you go. Ohio State Buckeyes versus the Minnesota Golden Gophers, November 7th. In Columbus, In right? Columbus. In yeah. Columbus. Hopefully it's better weather than last year in Minnesota <laughs> where they had a, a several inches of snow come down during the game and there was a Minnesota player, not a player, but a support staff Minnesota caught eating a dilly bar, an ice cream dilly bar oh, during the game right, with yeah. the snow coming down on the field all around them. <laughs> all right, our next item will show up in the trips category on auction day. On this trip, you can visit the Amazon rainforest, what? the Caribbean reef, and a polar chilly cold zone all in one location. There's also a chance to ride an elevated train while you spend time in this city. And a final hint, this will give it away. I'm baffled. It borders Lake Michigan. My kind of town. Australia. <laughs> Australia is <laughs> not Australia. a town. <laughs> we would love to have a trip to Australia on the auction. If you'd like to donate that to us, we will gladly auction it off. But no, that's not the answer. Did you recently go there, Jennifer? Well, I went to this town, but I didn't get to visit all of these different locations, as you can see. Who's going to guess? Chicago. Thank you. Ding, 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 ding. Chicago. That's right. We have a trip to Chicago, an overnight town. trip, including two tickets to the Shed Aquarium, which does overlook Lake Michigan. Moving on. Did you get a deep dish pizza with Moving that? away from the trips part <laughs> of the day, our next item will definitely help with a morning wake-up or a mid-afternoon pick-me-up. Or if you're like me, Five hour all energy. day long. The color you'll get at our auction is a sharp looking red. Hmm. It even includes a lovely porcelain mug. And one more hint, no need to share. Color okay, guys. Is red. Red what, coffee? What is it? I'm so just without idea. I'm not very good at this game. It's probably one of my favorite items. I'm guessing. Pizza. Well, pizza. Pizza is definitely. And it is red. That's one of your but favorite items. It right? is. I don't know if it's a pick me up. I also love. It's a, oh, it's a pick me up. I love hey, coffee. Hey. There you go. I'm going to try to reel you <laughs> back in. What is red coffee? Stuff. I love well, coffee. The coffee maker's red. The oh. coffee maker. It is a single serve Brentwood well coffee it's maker. Okay. It's an item that you actually purchased at Kohl's. We did not purchase it at Kohl's. It is an auction donation, and there you go. It could be yours. All right, the final item in our auction guess it game of the day comes from a company that is known for its chain mail items. Is that when you mail something it and you've got to mail five Etsy more shop. letters after that? Chain Etsy mail? shop in the back hills of Missouri and have been growing rapidly with sales I know about worldwide. This place. Their donation to the TV44 auction involves three pieces two for the ears and one for the spot between the shoulders and the head. Got any ideas, Earbuds. Guys? Again, baffled. Earbuds. Are we talking pizza still? Shoulders in the head? It fits in this box. Earbuds. 
Is this wax. a pizza? That does look like um, like wax or like yeah. shoe polish. <laughs> shoe polish. Shoe That's polish. what it is. So shoe would polish. you put shoe polish on your ears? <laughs> I'm sure it's been done before. <laughs> Here we go. One Ooh. of a kind. I believe this is 14 karat gold, but I need to uh Don't you bite it to find that. out? Is that how the gold works? Uh, ah. it, will, you, will, you, will you pay more money for it if Andy bites it? I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. Maybe <laughs> not for you guys, but you know. Yeah. This will look beautiful. It looks very nice. It's glimmering in the light. Neck. So where is this from again? Etsy? This is from Uncommon Supplies. Mm -hmm. They are located in, I guess, two locations, Rolla, Missouri, and somewhere in Texas. But, but online as well, right? Online. Mm -hmm. That's where we do most of their sales online. And they donated this beautiful set wow. for our That's auction. Great. Thank you, Uncommon Supply. Again, we are ready for your auction donations. Donation days and times are Monday through Friday, 10 to 3. If you bring something large that perhaps needs some help unloading, the certainly will call help ahead to see if we have <laughs> staff on hand. Zach can bench press 400 <laughs> pounds straight over his head, clean and jerk. It's, it's quite impressive. Only beaten by Mark. It's without a lung. <laughs> but you don't have to call to see if we have somebody ahead, but it certainly is nice if, you, if that is something that will be necessarily. And, you know, something you can donate to TV44 Auction may show up on a future episode of mm. Guess the oh. Item. Don't forget, September 12th is this year's auction. Are we asking for pies again this year? Because I like pies. Oh, yes. Absolutely, we want pies. And we're still looking for the six foot seven cake. We didn't get it last I year. I ate that. Was I not supposed to tell you? It <laughs> appeared, and I ate it, and now it's gone. Okay, I have a feeling that Dr. Trudy Peeper would say that eating mm. that much cake is not very good for future health issues. I ate it in two days. Didn't, didn't eat all in one sitting. Now on to today's <laughs> health segment featuring Dr. Trudy Peeper. According to 2013 CDC health data, diabetes ranks in the top 10 for causes of death in the U.S., and the annual number of diagnoses continues to rise. But what if you could do something to stop that trend? What preventative steps can you take now to lessen your risk of diabetes in the future? Well, recently, Zach sat down with Dr. Trudy Peeper, who offers six diabetes prevention tips. 29 million, 29 million Americans living with diabetes. It's a huge number. Mm. Actually, it's a grim number. Yeah. I wouldn't say huge. It's huge, but it's grim because it can be prevented. And when you look at the 29 million, it also, you should look at the fact that that's just diagnosed diabetes cases. Okay. We know for sure that there are at least another million people who have, are pre-diabetic. Hmm. Sometimes it's called uh, uh, metabolic syndrome. And these are the people who are on the verge of moving over into diabetes. Okay. And what we would like to talk about today, that there's uh, s simple steps that you can take that will help you not go over to hmm. the dark side yeah. of diabetes. <laughs> sure, so this, these are things, I mean, you talk about pre-diabetes that it can be prevented, that they can yes. do things to help their situation. Yes, absolutely. And the first thing and the most important is maintaining weight. Okay. Uh, today, most people are overweight. Uh, we have uh, it's chronic obesity everywhere for not only adults, but for children. Mm -hmm. And if you can keep a near normal weight, uh, you will, uh, with healthy diet and exercise, you will limit your possibilities of, be of becoming diabetic. Okay, well, easy or manage your weight, number one, then cut calories you have as, as the second tip. And supersize is not good for <laughs> anybody, Zach. I can uh, imagine that's the case. <laughs> you know, just simply cutting out supersize will make a big difference sure. in cutting your calories. That's portion size. It also is forego calorie-rich desserts. It seems like um, a McDonald's shake is 880 calories. Wow. That's almost 1,000 calories in a 2,000-calorie diet. So you have to really be careful and, and choose wisely your yeah. food choices with that. Um, when you're going to drink, because drinking is the quickest way to add calories okay. to your diet. So if you drink water or tea, unsweetened teas, mm -hmm. therefore you can still get plenty of fluids without adding the calories sure. to that. Um, fill up on lower calorie foods. When you go to pick a soup, take a broth-based soup instead of the broccoli cheddar with the cream sauce. Yeah, okay. That'll lower your calories also. Watch fruits. People think, okay, fruits and vegetables, I'll eat lots of fruits. Fruits are glycemic. They mm. have lots of sugar in them. So go towards low glycemic fruits, tart apples, all your berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, mm. strawberries are all low glycemic fruits. And this is the season now when people yeah. go out and eat those. Watermelon and papaya are all good choices for fruits. And the finally is cut out the high carbs. Anything, sugar is the enemy of diabetes. Mm. And if you can watch your sugar, you will not become diabetic. Okay. So become a label Nazi. If it has OSE at the end of it, OSE, you shouldn't eat it. Okay. So that's dextrose, 
uh, sucrose, yeah. fructose. <laughs> All those things you can't pronounce sometimes. That's right. If it has OSE at the end, do not eat it. Okay. Do well, that. we're managing weight, cutting calories. Number three, stay active. Stay active. And we talked about this a little bit. Um, three studies have shown that if you can exercise five days a week for 30 minutes, then you will stay off uh, making sure that the diabetes does not become a label for you. Mm. But, and again, you need to do both uh, the resistance and the aerobic exercise. Um, in addition, you'll lose weight. Uh, most yeah. of the people who it's a great benefit. <laughs> it is most people who work on losing an, uh, this program that we've talked about here lose about two pounds a week. Wow! Just by cutting calorie portions, watching what they're eating, and doing exercise five times a week. Hmm. So that's another benefit to that. You um, all forms of movement help. So people say, "Oh, I can't run." That's all right. Walk. Yeah. Work in your garden. Um, bike. Take an exercise class, swimming, anything that you do will, will, will count towards this exercise. Okay. Uh, unprocessed foods, we hear a lot about processed foods, and so of course probably important to eat the unprocessed foods. And that's particularly because of, there are a couple of really important minerals that we get in unprocessed foods that will help us so that uh, limit our insulin in our blood sugar. And the main one is magnesium. Mm. Studies have shown that uh, you have a 23% risk, lower risk of reaching diabetes if you eat more magnesium. Yeah. But if you do leafy green vegetables, there's lots of magnesium in that. Uh, broccoli is another one. Ne uh, any beans, nuts, and whole grains all have magnesium in them. The other one is chromium. Chromium is a very important mineral to help you lower your blood sugar. And you find that only in unprocessed foods. Okay. And that's broccoli, potatoes, meats, and whole grains. Okay. And then our last two, aim for more D3 and then finally get tested. Right. Uh, vitamin D3 is, uh, as we get older, we make less our skin from the sunshine into our skin. We make less D3. Mm. So if you can maintain that level, it helps with insulin levels. And finally, most Americans are not aware of whether they have diabetes or not. The sooner you find that out, the better you can uh, limit all the side effects that go with that. Mm. So at age 45, if you have not been tested, you should be tested for diabetes. Well, thank you, Zach. If you feel you missed some important points on this topic, remember, you can rewatch this and all of Dr. Trudy's health segments anytime by visiting our website, WTLW.com. Just click on Faith and Friends. Well, speaking of knowledge and Dr. Trudy, we've been telling you about this, her new book. It's Prevention is the Cure to Cancer, Five Easy Steps. Well, as a thank you to our viewers, those who donate $100 or more in the month of June will receive their own copy of Prevention is the Cure to Cancer. Just request the book at the time of your donation. Any questions, just call us at 419-339-4444. Well, if you're like many, then your summer is on the go. Outdoor activities, afternoons at the pool, day trips to fun places like the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago. Well, how do you make sure that the foods you eat are keeping your body healthy? Well, Zach has moved over to our food segment desk and has some food samples to test out on today's Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment. Well, thank you, Mark. You know, according to the Good Housekeeping Research Institute, the average American eats six convenience foods daily. Today's Americans are overworked and their schedules are packed full. And what is often the first to suffer? Well, nutrition. It's easy to jump through that fast drive through through the line and consider the necessary nutrients for that day. Well, today we're going to show you an alternative to that, to that with five ready-made portable items that aren't just prepackaged for your convenience, but also created with health conscious ingredients. Number one, we're looking at Vicky's granola, guys. This it's is over there. You can see on along the front here. Tasting day. Number two, we're gonna look at ready to eat flax chia seeds. Ready um, to eat, eh? Ready to eat. <laughs> As opposed to baked for three hours nope. chia seeds. These or? are ready for you to consume. We're gonna look at some fruit snacks. Go organically fruit this snacks. This is my, my personal favorite. Do not favorite. steal them. Come no, on. don't take them. These are to share. I've actually been munching on these all week, just so everybody knows. I just drink this. <laughs> We're going to look at some authentic Wait. Italian mini croissants. These are mm. I've already pre-opened yep. the package. Pre-opened. So and then also, loud. Andy, I predict this will be your personal favorite. This is Coleman's mustard. Wait a second. We're just eating mustard? <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you've got mustard powder and some mustard, some actual mustard. So you dip so. your finger in one and then sprinkle well, we're some powder find out. on You put the mustard in the no, smoothie. No, you don't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Well, we let's, are not. let's start okay. with number one. We're going to take a look at the Vicky's granola right here. Okay. And this actually does look very good. My wife does eats a lot of granola. <laughs> <laughs> 
My wife eats a lot of granola, and and I can eat it, but it's not it's always strawberry. my favorite. Here, pick one out. Let's try it. Pecans, no, almonds, and honey. Cranberries, the, maple, and walnuts. Blueberries. The benefit of these, number one, they're gluten-free. So all of you out there who do have the gluten allergies, these are gluten-free granola. Look at these little packages. Jennifer, that looks like a por perfect portable. I could see you taking that in your van, driving down the road, and eating some I have to tell you, granola. it also opened very easily. You know, sometimes they are trouble that to get well. things open. It was very mm -hmm. smooth. Oh, that's in another there. It's great. Those are good. Convenience. Right. Put on a little yogurt, maybe? Oh, yeah. That's a blend of honey, almonds, mm -hmm. pecans, oh, unsweetened really coconut, good. and of course, depend on which, depending on which one you selected, there's blueberries, pecans, and maybe some cranberries some? in there. Sure. Mm. I'll try. What is this? Really this is the good. blueberry. Blueberry. Try this one. blueberry almond. Now, there's no refined sugars in these or preservatives, and so again, that nutrition that we're mm. talking about, um, there's a benefit there. I'd give this one two thumbs up for sure. That's, that's excellent. Perfect little grab and that's go really package. That's really good. Mm -hmm. right. And then you can buy them in these small little packages too, so they're mm. nice and easy to take. Very good. That may be starting to be a staple in my house. So thumbs up for Vicky's granola. Yeah, absolutely. And you can find those. We're losing the Vicky's. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can find those at Vicky'sFood.com, and so you can maybe purchase some of these to-go packages. Mm. Oh, that's All right. Good. Mm. Put the granola down. We're moving on to number two. <laughs> We're going to talk about the ready-to-eat flax chia packs. Oh boy. These are right here. Now I understand Jennifer. I think for fear of eating these straight has prepared a smoothie Good, we get to drink. put these in. <laughs> and what's in the smoothie? I don't smoothie? think you're really supposed to eat them straight. I mean, I don't know. Maybe a health person will call me up and say differently, but. Well, what's in the smoothie this morning? Um, this smoothie has strawberries, blueberries, bananas, and mango. Mango. There we go. Oh, that's what I was smelling. So, tear here. No, no banana? OK, not quite as easy to tear as Vicky's, but still pretty easy. A benefit of these is it's a prepackaged amount of your flax and chia seeds. And so if you maybe you are supposed to be eating these for some fiber or omega-3s, these are prepackaged amounts. You don't have to worry about divvying up your seeds. You're and putting you just, the whole packet in? I'll share. <laughs> I'll share. We'll do half and half. Do they have flavor, or is it flavorless, Zach? Well, with your smoothie, you're going to only taste the, the fruit there. I hope there. that's the truth. But they're a rich source in fiber and omega-3s, antioxidants. What is an omega-3, exactly? It's a healthy oil. Something you need. You need in your protein body. Protein in your body. Yeah, you can't and you don't it. need to refrigerate Fine. these, so how is it? Yep. Hey, yeah, you can't even taste it. Doesn't, Great way. There's no weird texture or anything. Very smooth. It's crunchy, now, but I know, Andy, okay. you do the the Nutribullet I do uh, smoothies in the morning, right? right? And so you could maybe just put some of these in there. You get your daily dose of fiber and some other healthy omega threes. I will call <laughs> Leah as soon as we're done and let her know that Chia is your new friend. Chia pet. You can find these at <laughs> Carrington so is my hair Farms. Grow? <laughs> CarringtonFarms.com. <laughs> my hair's gonna grow. Everywhere. We need to move on to our fruit snacks. He my personal should. favorite. Oh! I have a weak spot for fruit snacks. I do Many too. people in my life know this. This is a, a weak point of mine. But, but these so are healthy. So many fruit snacks have like artificial colors and mm -hmm. extra things in it that we don't really want. So oh, these those are don't, good. right? These are gluten free. They're GMO free. free. <clears throat> They're all organic. I think I have. Some granola stuck in my mouth. I think it's a flax seed. Yeah. All organic, mm. so they're made with natural Those are great. fruit juice. And they wow. are very tasty. I've, I've eaten these at my desk the last few days. You got secretly, an advance preview Well, I've secretly been snacks. taking them out of Jennifer's these office. These are very good. She doesn't know this. <laughs> That's why the box is open. I'm supposed to have be the keeper of things that no one's supposed to touch, but yep. And oh, I've been them. sneaking in there. You I know your them. daughters also have to watch what food colorings mm -hmm. they eat for a few colors. And these are made with no... Um, artificial colors. These are very naturally good. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. And they're not too, like, difficult to chew. They're very perfect. good. Very good. Goorganicallysnacks.com is where you're going to find these at. Are there any vegetables in these? Because then there I can get not. my daily dose well, of we vegetables. We need to hit our last two items sorry. quickly here. Oh, We're looking sorry. at go, go. Italian croissants. I have one open mm. already. These are vanilla custard. So these, oh. are, these are not yeah. gluten free. They are not gluten free, but maybe you oh. want something sweet. And they are small portion sizes. You can get chocolate. Oh man, they're they're cream pop, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> chocolate mm. or vanilla is the varieties they come in. And there's six of them wow. in this little package. Can I here. freeze them? You can buy these in packages of six, so six bags here, and they've got these mini croissants in them. How are they? I haven't tried the, one of the these. The rule is though, you cannot eat more than what's in a bag. Why not? This is portion control, so that you don't eat too many of this. You can just just enough to keep you going. Something I think Andy might. Need help with? I do have a problem. <laughs> Our last one, the most <laughs> exciting one of them all, is this the most exciting mustard. Is mustard. Here, you can see that's the mustard powder. <laughs> this is the mustard. Why are we? Perfect. Here's an idea. 
I know you're a big camper, Andy. Is that true? Oh, I love camping. <laughs> yeah, they're perfect if you're going <laughs> camping, and maybe you just need to take some mustard for whatever you're cooking. What a great <laughs> idea. Hey, but you know I what? I think I'm going to go camping mustard right now. Mustard is healthier than a lot of other things, like mayonnaise and things. You put mustard on something, and it's... There you go. You there, have the faith oh, the size of a mustard powder. You're going to put mustard in your smoothie. <laughs> oh, no. That would be terrible. Well, here's how you use the mustard powder. If you do want to create mustard, just do mix not sniff the must equal part water with equal part mustard powder and let it sit for about 10 minutes and you're going to end up with some great tasting <laughs> mustard. Let that sit in your mouth for 10 minutes. I don't think that's how it's intended to be used. Where's the garlic? <laughs> well, the strength of the mustard. Oh, wait. Now it's getting... It does taste okay now. Does it? Yeah. You know, so you're supposed to let it sit, but... Sit, sit where in my mouth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must have put cold water with it. Read the directions, Andy. This must be Cold's tried mustard. and true. This dates back to 1814 is when Coleman's mustard started. And so... That's pretty good, actually. Yeah? Yeah. So out of all of these items, which ones? The mustard! <laughs> the mustard is your favorite. Zach predicted it from the beginning. Well... Flax and mustard. That's really Andy's good life's mustard. changing <laughs> after that. As they enjoy this mustard, we're going to finish the rest of our sam samples and send you out to the golf course where Delphus Jefferson grad Dylan Klein won both the boy or won the go boys golf state championship in 2006. And golf has taken him many different places since then including the professional ranks where he now competes. In today's OIO Faith on the Field segment Andy has the latest on the changes Klein has gone through to get to this point. Last spring, I saw Dylan Klein tweet about big plans, so we got together and connected for the first time in years. Then he entered the world of professional golf, moving to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina last fall, a transition that didn't go smoothly, leaving him lost. I came home at Christmas time, super broken, super un in touch with the Lord, uh, cried in Chipotle in front of probably 75 people with Andy and uh, my transformation has been nothing short of tremendous and incredible and I've never been more grateful for the Lord and uh, the ability to speak at the Legends Banquet to high school students in my area. Legends like Klein and Zach Dysart, William White and Jared Pugsley, Kyle Miller, Joe Horn and Stephanie Sanders among others will spend July 10th and 11th encouraging youth of all ages. It'll begin Friday night with a free Legends Youth Football Camp at Elida starting at 5 p.m. Then continue with a golf with the Legends outing Saturday morning and the second annual Legends of Northwest Ohio Banquet the night of July 11th. Athletes from all over our area, like Klein, will share how God is pulling them through struggles. He's been teaching me how to live on the narrow path, uh, that the broad path is uh, a bad path bad path to follow and that the broad path leads to destruction and that uh, the narrow gate, the small gate that we enter through is the one that leads to life. And if you want that true life that Klein talks about, you can email me at alynch at fca.org and we can start talking about that process of following God's path. We love to be able to share inspirational stories just like that one, lives being changed by Christ. What a privilege it is to have a TV station with the ability to spread the gospel across the airwaves. It's also a privilege to be able to pray for you. So we do every week with your prayer requests and we want to take a moment to pray specifically for health related needs. Andy, a few weeks ago you spoke with a viewer who has a family member battling stage four cancer. That's right and we want to lift him up in prayer right now. Uh, so let's bow our heads and do just that. Father, we thank you so much that you are the physician, you are the healer. Uh, just pray that you would Lift up this man and his family and help him as, during his battle to have your peace and your comfort and your healing uh, that only you can bring. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm. Email or call us if you have prayer requests or stop us at a baseball game just <laughs> like that happened to me. The prayer line is 419-339-3000, 24-7, always open. And you can email us at prayer at WTLW.com as well. And one of our ongoing prayers is continued partnership with you. We're thankful for your faithful financial gifts as they are used solely to further the ministry of TV44. Throughout the summer months, many people are away from regular TV watching, a lot of outdoor activities to do, and sometimes get away from regular giving to ministries. We encourage you to consider automatic monthly giving. It's safe and a reliable way to continue partnering with TV44, even if your life gets busy. Find out more by calling us at 419-339-4444 or emailing contact at WTLW.com. And so now we bring you today's verse before we say goodbye, Mark. Looking at John 4, 33 through 35. But Jesus said to his disciples, 
I have food to eat that you know nothing about. And his disciples said to each other, could someone have brought him food? My food, said Jesus, is to do the will of him who sent me to finish his work. Don't you have a saying, it's still four months until harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for harvest. And certainly the fields are ripe for harvest and we thank you for helping to support the harvest here at TV44. Till next time, we'll see you on Faith and Friends.